going on everybody Z here welcome back to some more new man sky and uh we're continuing the frontiers updating stuff and would you look at that the base looks pretty much exactly the same so last episode we got this base going we deleted a whole bunch of other, other bases and we tried placing some hydroponic gardens in here because like this is where i want to do the farming stuff however unfortunately it's still not working um it is a known issue they're just not snapping now i could do free placement and placement here but you know what i'm just not really that worried about it right now so we're gonna leave those alone um, i'm gonna utilize this room for other things for now and i think what we might do is i might actually have a temporary garden somewhere else i'm really like i'm really kicking myself that i deleted the gardens of a terra base <laughs> now that these uh that these won't snap i should have just kept that base anyways hopefully you're all having a fantastic day i'm having a wonderful day and uh we're gonna start off with nav data so i in in a few like episodes ago we were looking for nav data for our settlements now there is an item that actually has the chance of giving you nav data so if you remember i went through my freighter and i'm i went through a bunch of these these crate fabricators i didn't get any nav data from that i got a whole bunch of other stuff however the barrel fabricators the barrel fabricators have a chance to get you nav data so we're gonna build a bunch of those and uh as you can see we need a bunch of antimatter so i'm actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up to my freighter i'm going to deconstruct uh half of those crates that i have up there and we're going to reconstruct them into we're going to turn them into barrel fabricators is essentially what we're doing so um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do, like subscribe all the fun things wow there's a thing right there is my what is my freighter not here warp drive is insufficient for current system oh we're going to, have to fix that eventually too also, we've got to uh, we got to take a quick stop at the settlement. We have a visitor at our settlement, so we're gonna stop over there, check it out. Hopefully, the visitor has something wonderful for our village uh, or our settlement, and then we can get that going. You know, I just realized I had a uh, I had a teleporter at my base. <laughs> I don't know why I came here. <laughs> I'm a dummy. All right, let's see what we got going. Oh, that's right. We also have a house going on. Let's see, uh, can we add the next step to it? Upper story, magnetized ferrite, heck yes. Awesome, so we have a uh, we have a residential area going in. I forgot to mention that, because I popped in here. I've been trying to do this, like, you know, throughout the days, because, like, it takes, like, two hours now, and then I have to come back and stuff. So this is actually turning into a residential area, which I think it says it's gonna add three people. Um, but let's go ahead and greet the settlement visitor. Removes signal black spot adds feature sodium chamber settlement debt is a lot but they you know what the signal black spot that's one of our negatives on our uh, our post and i don't care about the debt we'll fix the debt awesome so new settlement feature sodium chamber let's view our settlement status so there it is uh right there sodium chamber increase productivity so now look at that oh <gasps> we're making money we're making money 251 maintenance costs 234 we're making money yes oh my gosh that's fantastic so um yeah look at that three of our things are positive now we just gotta get these last three right here done uh 19 hours until we are making money oh this is exciting this is exciting that was a that was a huge win um okay so that's going uh we got some residential stuff does this what does this look like got some floors we got some stairs okay so nothing super amazing uh i think that's it right didn't say did it say running smoothly i think it did okay so let's pop up to our freighter now and let's go get some nav data so if you're looking for nav data this is the way i think i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see if this is the way okay so my room over here this room right here that has all of these cases i don't know if you guys remember this episode uh there was an episode anyways we're gonna go ahead and we're going to um i'm gonna delete these um delete now do i get my antimatter back okay good so i'm gonna go through and delete all of these on this side just because i don't need this many i have no need for this many actually let's make sure my inventory is not full exosuit oh yeah we got all kinds of inventory spaces okay cool so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna delete these and we're gonna put in barrel fabricators okay so we got those all taken out super easy super fast uh barrel fabricators where are you it is a decorative item isn't it a decorative item one of these items barrel fabricator okay 
Uh, we can build 95. So unfortunately, there's no like snapping toggle build mode. So I'm going to just have to place these as good as I can in a line, but we'll do what we can. Okay, so there's our first line right there. <laughs> I know that's actually a lot of antimatter, but let's go through and let's see how much navigation data we get off this. So how much do I have? I have two, hold on, let me make sure. Do I only have two nav data? Salvage data, I believe so. Let me go ahead and throw this into my high capacity. Okay, so I believe we only have Let's get some things organized here. Okay, so nav data should fill up this area right here. I don't think I have any in here. I don't, we have two. Let's go through this line right here and let's see how much nav data we get. Okay, so went through all of those. We are now at 18 nav data. That's pretty good. That is, that's actually really good. So I'm actually gonna try something here. We're gonna go into our cargo. Um, I wanna go ahead and we're gonna do something here. I'm gonna try something. This used to kind of work uh, with some things, but it didn't work with everything. So let's see, can I, I wanna split, move and stack. Okay, so we're gonna fill up our inventory and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna place one in each one of these slots. And there's a reason I'm doing this because uh, it used to be to where if you didn't have room for anything, um, oh, it's not going to work because I'm always going to have room for these other things. You know what? I never got metal plating out of those. Let's do this. Let's put the um, storage container. You know what? I'm going to have to mess with that afterwards. Let me let me build another row and then we'll uh, we'll figure this out. But anyways, what I was saying was that uh, typically if your inventory was already full of something, it would only give you what you could already hold. So if we could only hold nav data, you see what I'm saying here? You see what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, so we got our second row of uh, barrel fabricators in here. Now, like I said, I wanna see if we can get this to work. Um, I gotta pay attention though, because I can't remember what the uh, what they gave me. And if there's any stack that it can go into, it's not gonna work. Um. I don't think it gave me metal plating. I think it did give me antimatter. So I'm actually gonna go move that into storage. I'm gonna place some metal plating there. Uh, let's just see what it gives me now because I don't have any room for anything else. Watch, it's gonna give me, and the, you know what? We'll just do this one at a time. What do I get from this? Navigation data. Oh. So that one's not gonna be nav data. Not gonna be nav data. This is probably gonna be nav data. Oh, antimatter housing. Oh, that's another one. So it's not that it doesn't work that way anymore. Okay, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Let me go ahead and throw that into there. Grab this into there. So I guess you could see nav data. Nav data. Yep. So I guess you, could, if you only wanted nav data, you could just go through here, and uh, I guess you could do it this way. Oh, we got carbon too. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work the way it used to because I think it used to work that way. I think it used to work like it would only give you what you could have and it wouldn't say inventory full, but that's kind of unfortunate. All right. Well, there we go. We got a whole bunch of nav data. How much do we have now? Total nav data. Uh, let's get these all stacked up here. So we have a total of 32 nav data and that took me all of maybe five minutes to do. And I'm pretty sure that if I leave my freighter and come back, I can go back through all of these again. <laughs> it's too nice. Oh, it's too nice. Um, storage container inventory. Okay, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna store everything and uh, that I don't need right now because yes. Okay, my inventory is like completely cleared out. This is so nice. I haven't had this happen in like ever. Um, now, the only thing I wish, I wish that there was a way to see all of your stuff uh, through all of your storages. You know what I mean? So, cause I typically, what I try to do is I try to go through and I try to store stuff, uh, this way. Cause then it stacks it for me. If it can already stack, 
so like all of this stuff i should just throw into here and try to restack it. except for like the the frigate fuel and that stuff i don't need to do that okay so i moved some stuff back to my inventory because obviously we can't go without anything like that's not gonna happen so uh got some basic materials here chromatic metal why do i have so much chromatic metal this one could go back i don't need i don't need two stacks of chromatic metal so basic stuff here uh got our navigation data all that fun stuff okay uh so unfortunately it'd be nice if you could do that with um with like uh salvage data you know like it'd be nice if there's a way to get salvage data like this so uh but yeah if you need nav data guess what you have a nav data farm right here easy peasy uh you don't li literally have to do like anything whatsoever and we're back at our base okay so since um honestly this is my thinking since the uh hydroponic trays are not working unfortunately which is like my go-to option here we're gonna have to use biodomes um the, the biodomes look cool however they take up a lot of space and you can't plant a lot of plants in them if that makes sense so and we need 12 of them <laughs> we need 12 for all the plants that we're gonna plant so i want to go ahead and i want to see what we need for the biodomes and i'd like to get those laid out for us where are okay so here biodome i mean they're not that big they're not insanely huge, you know? So I'm thinking, what do I need? Five glass and 25 magnetized ferrite. That's not that bad. Oh, how do we want to do this? I'm trying to like look here. I can't go into build cam mode because we all know that build cam mode breaks everything. So I'm thinking they're going to go down in here. So let's kind of build some... Let's see, let's get to our metal. Um, let's get some ramps going in here. Uh, free placement, no thank you. All right, there we go. And let's see here. Where would the central-ish area be? Probably like, probably there and there. Kind of centralized up to this thing. I'm not super worried about it. Um, But how far down do we want to go? Do we want to go down two right now? might not be bad let's see try to get a try to get a feel for this and see how this would look might not be bad actually this this actually might be the like about the perfect height holy moly i'm out of ferrite dust you know what actually i am out of ferrite dust now that i think about it i'm completely out um so i need to get some ferrite dust but we also need to i need to grab magnetized ferrite and the glass okay so we got magnetized ferrite we got glass let's go get some ferrite dust and because that's what i actually need for these platforms too right ferrite dust yeah let's go grab a bunch of ferrite dust um i think my station that i usually go to got renamed because i don't see it on my list anymore i had i had like two names that i remembered for my uh, my go-to stations for stuff like this and i don't see them on the list so for me ferrite dust obviously i just buy it <laughs> that's just the best way to do it okay and just like that um in a matter of seconds we have pretty decent amounts of stacks of uh, ferrite dust so now we can head back get our biodomes built and then another thing that i'd like to kind of get built is i'm trying to decide if we want a warehouse or if we want to just probably use our center spire i think we're gonna end up using the center spire area for our main like operations however i was thinking we could build like a warehouse for like you know refiners and all that stuff but mm, you know honestly using that center area might be <laughs> might just be the best option for us okay so i got a floor here now i don't will a biodome snap no they don't snap to this so they, they're free placed here Kind of unfortunate, not gonna lie. I would almost rather them snap. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I think we're gonna do some free placement here. Um, I wanna do X-shaped corridor. Let's do an X-shaped corridor. And I'm going to try. Oh. We could bring it out from there. My problem is that doesn't line up at 
all. Hold on. Actually, let's bring this out from here. I'm kind of curious. So, like, if I bring these out. Oh, yeah. See, those are, like, way, way lower. However, that would give us access to that, which actually could be kind of cool. So, we're playing with ideas here. So, if I get rid of those and we got, say x-shaped corridor like that and i needed to build it down to that can we place those like this and then can we place these oh see these don't snap there so that's so that's an issue right now is th th this part not snapping because this part should snap onto the bottom of these but they just don't. Actually, if I place that there, can I snap it underneath? No. Okay, new idea. Because snapping is super weird. If we get rid of those, we go in here, we get this small alloy wall. We bring that down. We get this. We bring this into here. Like that. And then we grab alloy half ramps. Place that there and there. How does that look? Not bad. Not bad at all. I think that might be our winner. And then all we have to do... Throw ourselves a hollow door in here. Of course, I messed that up completely. Ooh. Am I okay with that part clipping through right there? You know what? I think I'm okay with that, honestly. I really do. I think I'm fine with that. I mean, it's not perfect, but at the same time, I don't think anything's going to be perfect. And then if we do it this way... This will allow us to have our biodomes. Should allow us to have our biodomes snap right onto there. And we should be able to go boop right on into these. And wouldn't you know it, we have biodomes. And we have a main area right here. And then what we can do is we can essentially continue this on all the way through. Let me get another one placed here. So then we can have something kind of like this. We have one, two, we could go down three, four, five, six, and do that on both sides. And then we have these like glass corridors. So it's like, oh, we have our little room here, but then we can always connect up into here. And then we actually connects, it connects up into this room right here. So we kind of have a win-win right here. I like this, but I think what we're gonna do is I don't necessarily think that we need steps going down into everyone. Um, now these do not line up like even remotely close to the foundation. So that's kind of why I have steps all in them right now, but we could put, um, eventually we can put, you know, just some, some decorative stuff up. I don't have a lot of decorative stuff right now though. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, terrarium. Yeah. See, I don't have a lot of decorative stuff, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. We do something like that six on each side whoa hello hold on a second you sell black market stuff starship of mining overseer where's the pilot um there's no pilot hmm that actually reminds me we need to make a landing area too so i think i like this i think i like this i think we're gonna go ahead and i think we're gonna get six of these on both sides Okay, so this side is a little bit different. It's not perfectly centered, blah, blah, blah. We know this, but that's okay because, you know, asymmetrical stuff is usually a little bit better. We'll just make it look fine. It'll be fine. Now, this side, I am only... So, like, this side was a little bit further out, so I'm actually getting away with putting um, 
a full slab and then a half slab on top of that. These aren't facing the right way. Uh, that's not going to be okay. Let's go and get rid of those. And they're not... Whoop. I hate falling off of these things. <laughs> it's like one of the worst things ever. Yeah, you know I just realized. Oh, no. I was going to say, they're not even perfectly straight, but they are because the other one has the door. I was like, it's not even reaching anymore. What the heck happened? It was reaching just fine before. It's fine. All right, so we'll do those. And then just to make sure, verify, door goes on here. And then it reaches. Ooh. It is slightly off. See, now that's the kind of thing that would bother me. It's just, it's unfortunate because like there's, there's nothing that connects this type of like base building part to this time. There's no way to stay on the same grid. Actually. Hold on a second. If I place down, if I place down a room like this, say we put that there, will a floor attach to no see that's not attaching yeah see there's nothing it doesn't it doesn't attach to that it's just attaching the stuff around it okay i was just trying to see if there's actually a way to get anything to actually attach to these things oh and see like even the cuboid room flooring is like a weird size too i don't think there's anything that's gonna work i don't think there's anything to attach them to make them on the same grid i think they're just two different sizes so we're just going to deal with what we got i guess Okay, so I got that cleaned up. Um, I did actually end up putting the floors going into it because it was making a bigger and bigger gap. But then I did finish the floor in here. So, I mean, you could see that this line is like not perfectly lined up, but that's okay. It is what it is. Now, the last thing I actually want to do is finish this off, kind of like close it in. And we're actually going to utilize this to do that. We're going to bring these together. So there's kind of like a wall. So you can see like it. Okay. This is the area that we're going to build in uh, this area. I can go ahead and delete. And there we have it. Awesome. Um, I do need to bring this down and then we'll probably go ahead and actually bring this down as well. On these sides. Okay. All the stairs are done. Everything's looking good. I kind of wish this side was out like. Man, if this side was out, like, maybe one more. I think it would look a little bit better like this side. Because, like, see how this side has, like, a little bit of room? I think I'm going to move these out by one. <laughs> I think I'm going to move all these out just by one, one hallway. All right. Yeah, see, that, that already just looks so much better. There's, like, a little bit more room on both sides of that. Okay, perfect. And then I just got to throw my biodomes in. And the biodomes are in. So there we go. Uh, we don't have... Do we have like a, a corner for this or something? Um, let's just put these. Actually, let's put one there. And there. And we'll do the same thing on this corner right here. There and there. That looks good. See, that looks nice. So we can put little potted plants or whatever right here. Oh, you know what? Oh, this actually might be a good place to put our um our uh our artifact uh collection too. Ooh, that could be fun. That could be fun. Okay, cool. I wish it would be light here. Like sometimes that'd be so nice. And then I need to go through and throw hollow doors on all these, and I probably should lay the little foundation on the inside of these as well. But let's go grab some metal plating. Let's get our power situation fixed so that we we're not having to deal with it. Oh, darn you. You know what? Hold on. If I just delete one of these right here. Boop. Everything works now. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more of these guys built. These guys are going to power everything. Hey, it's starting to be light here. Oh, that'd be so nice. Okay, I think that'll probably hold us off for um, maybe ever. <laughs> I think that'll probably be enough power. 
especially with an s class power grid like we got going on right here uh how do we we have what 10 of these now we had two before we have 10 now so we are we have two 2.843 kp available and we're using 521 so yeah i would say we're good for now well ooh, actually we're gonna hook onto those things so that might not be enough wow that yeah, should be fine okay let's do it let's connect it up boop is everything alive still everything is alive fantastic and then all we need to do is go through and uh and plant all these so if i go in here and plant where is okay good i want to make sure that these were at least snapping so we can go through and plant all these now uh the planting that is something i'm going to do during a live stream so actually at the point of this recording video coming out i've already live streamed and we already did this um but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna get those done during a live stream and get that all fun and finished and basically just get some things that i need to get done but that's gonna end this episode also that's gonna be over on twitch but like i said by the time this video comes out it's already happened <laughs> i try not to do that but when it comes to like grindy stuff like that it's fine um but yeah that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things uh hopefully the nav data farm helps out with the new settlements costing you know like five five bits uh per map and trying to get the one that you want you know uh, we need to like do something in here close this up make it look nicer but we'll get to it we'll get to it so don't you worry but yes that's gonna end it thanks so much for coming out have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time